lean backwards. <laughs> Wham! Why? Why? We'll just we'll just we'll just slam down. We'll just slam. <laughs> Knock your face to the bed. Mm. Oh yeah, you really, you really could. I mean, yeah. Actually, that's great. Right. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, just, oh, <laughs> he dodged. Dodged the intro. You get new fans the intro, then just Matt falling off the bed. You almost actually fell off the bed, Dave. You weren't supposed I to caught. actually hit him off the bed. I caught him again. You just. just. Now it's now it's like juice box. <laughs> Except it really is on fire. Juice box is a show where we talk about a topic for an indeterminate amount of time. So let's do that. Joined this time, not by the Hereford lot, which I like to point out is a bloody rarity. Joined, <laughs> joined first by old man Omar, he's been here a while. And then you've got Professional Matt Palka, who spent half an hour messing with the camera, <laughs> as opposed to me, would have just put it on and let it roll. But, oh, by the way, just we don't have juice boxes because it's late, and you know we've been at VidCon for the last like twelve hours. But this we, guy's been volunteering half the day. But we're here. Yeah, and we have beverages. That's all that counts for the gimmick, man. Uh, this episode's topic is. It's what panels? No. Or... Community, community groups. Community groups. Community groups. See? Community groups. Oh, I will sorry. edit oh, I'm <laughs> out of this video. That's, uh, just, just not the whole. It's just, just be a big gap there. Just, hey, uh, hey, hey! Let's just start. Now, now, yeah. now you can just mask me out of the video. It's fine. What a good idea. We'll just we'll just cardboard cardboard cut you. <laughs> yeah, and every time this video gets boring, you're just gonna have to see Matt going. Ooh, we'll fall yeah. bed. You just randomly <laughs> put that in. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> well, I think it'd be good to start because we have the whole representation of community growth here too. So yeah. we've got like. I'm recent, you join a little after, and then Dave, you know, like the beginning of NFI. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So we could start with that a little bit too. Yeah, so. cool. I mean, the history of NFI has been said many times before. It was like three main periods of growth. It started with one group, then when you came in, with another like three people. Yeah. Just after mm -hmm. the Ninglings. And we didn't really have any recruitment for quite a while. And then. Pat went to VidCon last year and, and did the whole social warrior thing yeah. and recruited about 50,000 people. Yeah. Obviously, we've got one decent <laughs> one wow. member of the wow. team. Okay. Way to just, way to just way like, to piss single. off all of like the 79 other people that are on this channel. You know me. That is my job. Just pick favorites and then just take the mick out of everyone else. You almost said make it to the NFI. <laughs> to the <laughs> NFI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. didn't mean it. Everyone who has contributed to NFI is like beautiful and special and unique and we love you. No. On the side, to the camp, people behind the camp. And then, uh, like, Pat did that, which yeah. really gained a lot of momentum. Pat was like the, the, the last great NFI boom. Yes, definitely. Because by that point, NFI had kind of hit a slump because mm. I used to run it. And I used to, like... I honestly, I put about 25 hours a week in it. I mean, he seems just pretty lazy, but like you really did put a lot of effort in. Hell of a lot of scheduling, chasing yeah. people for videos three times a day, you know. Um, yeah. Or often I'd sort people's videos out, edit videos for them as well as my own. And it got too much as long as working full time and I had another job besides that. Pat as well, she wasn't going to take responsibility on. She said she couldn't really get involved, she was too busy. Mm -hmm. Then she went to VidCon got bitten by the bug and before you know it she just turns up at my door with 50 new people <laughs> again most of them useless but uh, <laughs> the point being or yeah. one-offs we should say not useless because they did contribute no damn it Dave I'm trying to like create a warm accepting community and you just like like He's stop me at every turn it out. yeah exactly you <laughs> shouldn't do because we started it as a war essentially in the first three weeks of the channel we had a nerd civil war oh so, yeah uh, that, just like um, like Captain America, not not like Captain America, Robert Downey Jr. level civil war because there wasn't just ideologies. It was mostly just people hating on other people for no adequately explored yeah. reason. And when he says hating, it's like obviously just throwing insults. Yeah. yeah. I guess, oh, well. I guess I came in after the uh, after yeah. the aftermath. I was like the yeah. phoenix from the rising ashes. Exactly, was... and like the coming of the decent revolution. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the, ch I guess the channel has a different eras. You could say yeah. you started yeah. off like the original era, and the I just I don't even know what to call it. Because you had the originals and then the like four people, so I don't know if you call. So you had like the, I guess we call it the founding five. So that would be you. Six. Si wait, mm. six. There was six. Dang it! It was so catchy. 
But I said <sighs> six at the beginning. I don't okay. I, 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 pay attention. I, I do not recall. You will edit the part where you said I said six. No, I won't. Yes, <laughs> um, well, otherwise, otherwise, I am correct. Basically, yeah. the original six turned out to be Elliot, Niall, me, Meg, Chelsea, Chelsea, Andrew, Andrew. No, Chelsea wasn't one of the original six. Really? She came in on the first week. Oh, yeah. It was... She made the So You Want to Be a Nerd Fighter a bit. Yeah, okay, I should know this. <laughs> I really should know this. So, like, there's the founding, there's the OG wave, and then there's, like, the Civil War, you said, sort of, <laughs> yeah. like, kind of thing, uh, yeah. battling it out, and then the new recruits, and so, like, we're the, the next wave of, uh, of anyway. people. And you sort of have kind of passed the baton, right, to... Definitely yeah, like two she, yeah, yeah, he's definitely passed. And like Pat and Corolla both like help the channel and like run and things and like manage it. Yeah, yeah. Corolla is really good about uploading things for people who, uh, who like either can't upload or just like yeah, who really just can't upload or don't have the time or something like that. Yeah, which is a lot of the time now to be mm -hmm. fair. Yeah, but I mean like the internet in some places is really spotty, so. Well, it, it's understandable. You know, we're having so many people around in so many different places try to upload things. It's good to have one solid person who knows like what's going on and can manage that. Yeah. Though, though according to someone, I, I do mess up titles quite often. Yeah. <laughs> you put the dates wrong. Yeah. You're American, you can't help it. Because I'm not <laughs> British, Dave! Exactly. We invented everything. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I don't just... That's it, you know, we invented everything, we gave you the country back, got the goodness of our hearts, and then we left. You didn't own the country, you stole it from a bunch of Native Americans! We didn't steal it, you did. I... <laughs> and in reference to the to the Civil War of NFI, oh my god, it's burning. <laughs> I don't know, it's normally when you get one of the older members of the channel involved, then the insults tend to start. For instance, if you were sat here with Pat, you mm. wouldn't have insults. You'd, you'd all just be talking about the topic at hand, but because I'm here, it tends to people get insulted. <laughs> You know, that's part of the generational yeah. change. So it's really cool to, we were trying to find a thing where we all had like a certain timeline in terms of understanding its development, because Pat really did recruit me and a lot of other people, yeah. and um, and it's it's really neat to see how engaged the community is, especially at the hangout that we had uh, during, yeah. the, during the Nerf Fighter. It's really cool to see uh, all the people there and how engaged everyone was, and just being able to like, connect those communities and bring people on NFI yeah. that haven't been there on there before. Which yeah. Is, which we're, we saw a lot of people. Even way back when, when we had only maybe like 20 people, we yeah. still had like Google Hangout. Back in the olden times. When it's like okay, <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> yeah, three. three. It was, um, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot more community focused in that it was the same group. Mm. Whereas we've got it's these alternating hard. people that you might see once every couple of months or whatever. Back then we had oh, set days. Because it was only like 20 of us, you'd see a video from someone every three weeks, or I had every Monday, every second Monday, Connor had every second Wednesday, now mm -hmm. it was every second Tuesday. Oh, you it know. was mostly Fridays? Yeah, and we used to do like hangouts every mm -hmm. couple of nights, and they used to last five or six hours at a time. Yeah, the the one the one that Meg montaged into a We Live in the Circles is one that is just like kind of memorable, mostly because it's the only one that we have actually captured footage of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Have you seen that? Yeah, I, I actually, I watched that, yeah. Yeah, because I got links a couple of Back. The idea of having that core group of people that are all committed to building something, and um, and yeah, I really like that. It was a very, yeah. very thoughtful video about just the power of, of having everybody in those hangouts consistently to keep the community yeah. kind of central. And we still have those hangouts every Saturday. Corolla is really good yep. about posting the links yeah. and stuff. Corolla is yeah. all is all on the hangouts on the Facebook page and everything, and yeah. they're doing the Twitter and. Exactly, I mean, especially now with these hangouts, there's certain people who will always be there, like Corolla's there, Elliot's surprisingly quite often uh -huh. there, Brendan's there, Brendan's there. Pin yeah. Penina's Penina's usually there. Penina. Shagik, no one again. Shagik. 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 She's the, particularly, like, from my point of view, the mm -hmm. guy who started it all, blah, blah. originally, okay, this is far different than what I intended when I started the channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to stand back and watch that gathering of like 20, 30 something people yeah. was amazing. So the different generational people sort of mixing everything. You yeah. had Nathan and Rose who are part of the old gang, like, mm -hmm. like yourself, because they were on from near enough the beginning. Yeah. You know, mixing with people like obviously Max and, Matt, Matt, and yeah. Matt and Rachel and Paul and, 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 Paul and, and a lot of the EDU group too. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Sarah. And Sarah and, yeah. It's like you were saying as we were walking over, wasn't it? It's like small little groups converging to the bigger group, but they're still part of their own little groups as well. Yeah. Exactly. And, there, and there's, and the, like, even then, there's really no, like, power dynamic or, like, or or sort of, I guess, like, elitism just because, like, they've been there longer, so they've, like, created their own little exclusionary. Like, no, no like, 
Pow was, Pow was like really excited. Like I heard her say once, like, oh my god, I did a thing, and like I did the exactly. thing, and, like everybody's here, and like, ah. The one thing the older members of the channel has always tried to do is to include as many people as possible. So we've never been an elitist like, oh, we were here before. Yeah. Couldn't give a damn about that. If you're on the channel, you're on the channel regardless. Yeah. That's why we say the channel has like 100 people. In actual fact, yeah. it's not that many. It's who we've had over the period of three years, but some people yeah. have appeared for two and a half years. But mm -hmm. you're still part of the channel, still part yeah, of the history. I mean, like, well, if, you, if you want to come yeah. back, you can come back. Like, exactly. And we've had people do that, like Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler came back. Yeah, and man, he's uh, done a lot of Connor great came, stuff. Connor came back. Connor, Connor came back last yeah. month. Yeah. So one of the one of the things I got out of uh, I just went to a panel on like it was more building a, your actual production company, like if you want to create YouTube videos and have like a team behind it. So it's yeah. more more businessy than community. But one of the things I was thinking about is like being able to just build like a li a reliable library of people for a community yeah. that consistently are able to do things. And it's not just about, it's like this person can help build the community with their expertise and this person. In terms of business, that's more, I'm a, ma I'm a master in production or I'm a master in this. That's not so much what we're doing here. Yeah. But it just goes to show that when we all contribute to the community and exchange ideas, yeah. that keeps people coming in as well. Now we have people that are coming in looking yeah. for people to oh like you want to be on NFI too and then that you momentum can, yeah. causes more people to get interested in the channel because we we have we've had people make stuff for us like Ty I know Tyler did all of the intros early on and then Dave you just made sort of like a blank template that you give to everybody uh, no well originally Tyler and I put the intros together mm -hmm. he um he he came up with having the pack user all the nerd fighters thing yeah. He's oh, the one who originally, fighters. which by the way, I'll get the footage of Pat for that because no. that was a pretty awesome. That was spot. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and then she did that, and Meg did the the yeah. NFI original. Like logo, yeah. yeah, so obviously it's kind of a labor of love, I guess you can call yeah. it. But it's what you said on your panel. It kind of ties quite well into mine because one of the panels I found most interesting was problem solving and building a team like mm. kind of similar to what you said, but yeah. like how to build a team and how to keep it running and how to treat them and. Because it was a guy who ran, who started Patreon. It was talking about how to deal with people. And funnily enough, I was sat next to Scott, who's my mm -hmm. boss on NerdSync, who currently runs a team. Oh. And he found it really interesting because he pays so many of the team, he doesn't so much, but he's always said he's not a very good boss because he doesn't have a lot of skills in terms of people. Mm -hmm. That's why he came to me for advice. And I'm like, what are you laughing at? I, like, <laughs> oh, I wasn't... <laughs> That was my, my channel. channel. We all have, we all yeah. have like expertise in something that we can share with yeah. other people. I mean, my I background has always been community yeah. and building. Because obviously, I, I had the nerd fights in England before this, mm. which it's not. Quite, it wasn't in the heydays it once was, but hundred thousand accounts is still a lot to keep on top of. Like, I mean, your background is in education. You're like doing yeah. educational content. Then you've got Matt, who does an awful lot of photography and yeah, photography and philosophical stuff. Yeah, and exactly. Leadership images. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got different styles. Like, there's me. I'm less spot tech. I'm just more the straight up vlogging with heavy amount of sarcasm, jokes, and insults. And, <laughs> and then there's like, you and know. then there's like Pat and Tyler who do music, and then there's like Meg who does like the really filmic videos, and Asante who also does the really filmic videos. Yeah, Asante was great on the panels that I went to. Yeah, she's she's. That was the gosh. growth. That was the. That was the hustle. That's another, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, consistency was like a really big thing, but I mean, like, we don't really have that big of an issue because we have like a hundred plus people. We have on a the lot channel. of people. I mean, just to sh just, I mean, just the end of the meetup we had just shows you the level of engagement mm -hmm. uh, with everybody that's there. Yeah, and that's that's always good. That's that's I think that was. I mean, I didn't I didn't go to the to the growth the growth panel because I was doing volunteering, but yeah. uh, that engagement is always really really important because the hangouts do are a part of that and the Twitter's a part of that and the the I mean, the ginger pop. <laughs> The ginger puff. Right. Yeah. And that, I mean, hell, Pat, it, Pat Mike got to make two Twitter accounts. And we even have somebody, hair. we even yeah. know somebody through our, our library of people that make shirts. Yeah. That we get yeah, exactly can like shirts for. These things. Oh, oh my God, it's burning. That's just the Oh my God, it's burning. Please don't put your nah. stupid impressions on my shirt. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And you push me out the window if you push me oh. out the like, <laughs> way. No. I regret nothing. I reckon if like if we could pull in, if, like, if it was a sustainable income source and you could pull people who was already in the channel together into one production team company, I think, you yeah. could, because there's so many people with so many different skills, you could really make a good go of it. I mean, what, what, I, what I'd really like to do is I'd really like to do like kind of one 
one really large collaboration with like with a bunch of uh, NFI people. I think we we, we kind of did that with the whole um, New Year. Yeah, the New Year shirking uh, Christmas video. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that one was, was a lot of editing. I think I had to edit like 13, 14 people clips all wow. together into one massive montage, and it took about a day just to render the full damn video together. Wow. But it turned out pretty good. We can always throw those ideas around, yeah. just uh, collaboration ideas. Wasn't wasn't there yeah. wasn't there another another sort of collaboration that you that you did where you gathered another bunch of people and asked them to submit clips? Um, and then Ellie was like really sarcastic. He's like, "Well, this freaking ginger bastard asked me for some clips, so I'm gonna give him some clips." Something like that. Yeah, I've done three, I think, all together. <laughs> One was based on somebody's birthday. That was that went quite well. Connor. Yeah, but that was more like that was straightforward. That was people just saying happy birthday, blah blah blah. Yeah. But the other two, like there was banana phone one, was one of them. Ring 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 ring. ring. Banana yeah. phone. Whether you've seen that video or not, it's still one of the greatest things I've ever done. Banana phone. Thank you very much. Because <laughs> there are people got sleeping. This <laughs> yeah. It's so appealing. Shut up. All right, easy. Ex especially like, like my anecdote of that is like two in the morning. I'm in like a pair of shorts and my robe in the front garden, two o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. trying to set this tripod up with a camera on an angle so I could film myself throwing a banana out the window. <laughs> yeah, at two in the morning, I, that's, I could be sleeping. So anyway, social growth, we in a roundabout way, we've kind of covered it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, say. just just a lot of, a lot of elements of, of it regarding just engaging in different ways, yeah, exactly. whether it's on the, a Tumblr or the Twitter or making videos or commenting on people's videos or yeah, like, videos yeah. you really, you really like, like Tumblr's. You really, should, you really should say also thank you if somebody does you a favor because they've invested some time into what you're doing and what they're doing. And like one of the best things is like when someone like says, oh, thank you for like making this or thank you for helping me. Like that's probably one of the best ways to just build community. It's just like share the love, man, because... Uh, I mean, like it's it's really sort of just kind of obvious when you're just sort of using somebody to just get something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel genuine. Yeah. You know, it can, That's it can exactly. It can feel kind of fake. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, as a, we've got so many different people who, despite having different, whatever, beliefs and backgrounds, we've all got the same sort of mentality. I might yeah. joke. I might be a complete git. But the main thing is, I still feel like the rest of us do, you know, we're grateful to each other for doing the videos and it's built a sense of community, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a brilliant thing. And this, and this is, I mean, our meeting is, in a, test, is a testament to that. Just, yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, it's, it's also, it's also kind of a testament to the strength in the community that we could, that we did sort of just die off and have this like really big slump for like a year and then, uh, and then we sort of just ramped back up again one day yeah. just cause... New energy, yeah. essentially. Like, anyway, so <laughs> and no. <laughs> yeah, this, this is probably gonna go into two videos because it's, it's kind of overran. But you can't talk about a subject like this without going on a tangent and diverting. Oh, yeah. it's too because it's so in, like, it's, so it's very it's very broad and it's yeah. very important. Yeah, exactly. Because then you could spend half an hour talking about one thing and half an hour about another thing, and it's, we're not even covered the different people and all the way what yeah. things people have brought to the channel. But, <laughs> oh. So, um, <laughs> okay, that's, okay, that's the clip we're using then. <laughs> that actually went really well. Yeah. I, I, I landed well. Yeah. You did, you kind of like, you sprang straight back up on the bed again. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm, all, I'm good. I'm all Best right. for three. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's wrap this up. Okay, so what I would normally say is thank you very much for watching. This has been Juice Box on the subject of social evolution with Matthew. He's drinking, he's ruined it. And of course, me, Dave, the. Yeah, the ginger, whatever you call me earlier. I'm Omar. <laughs> That's my name. And then I, I would like to... Okay, he threw himself off the bed. Wow. That's, even better. That's less effort on my part. Oh my Everything's god. on fire! Oh my god, it's burning. <laughs> oh, I got the, the quote. You know what, I'm done. Yeah, you Turn know what, bed. you want to bed, Omar. Turn, turn off the camera. Yeah, that's, um, well that's a wrap. Turn off the camera! I got everything wrong, I'm a failure. Yes, you are. Such a failure. I personally don't do branding. My collaboration channel doesn't do branding. My friends very rarely do branding. In fact, the people who inspired my collab channel do not do branding.